guys, Eraser here. I'm a high platinum league Zerg player, and in this video, you're gonna have a look at how lurkers do against Terrans. So, currently in this season, I've been having a lot of problems against um, Zerg vs Protoss and Zerg vs Terran. Um, currently averaging a 45 to 50 percent win rate against those two. Zerg is different, um, has a 75 percent win rate, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about Zerg vs Terran mainly. Yeah, so when I started using Lurkers, um, I've been actually winning more of my um, Zerg vs Terrans. So let's have a look at Lurkers. Lurkers are one of the two new Zerg units which come with Legacy of the Void. They morph from Hydralis and cost 150 minerals, 150 gas, and 3 supply, including the cost for Hydralis. They attack in a straight line, and they have to be buried to attack. So this means the enemy requires detection. But that's okay in Z Zerg vs Terran because Terran have orbital commands. So I was playing a game on Arena or Arena Arena. Whatever the the stupid arrow map. Um Yeah, so I was playing on that map where this Terran kept on doing Hellion and Banshee pushes. I I decided to go Lurker based on my old sunken tower defense days. And just camped down my expansions with spine crawlers and spore crawlers and lurkers, and that managed to hold quite nicely while I move my army around the map because I'm bad and I use F2. He makes a scan and just want to move my lurkers into the high ground just so I can have some defense. If I need it, if if he happens to push into me, but yeah, after that, gonna get one expansion, but not one. Gonna get two, and maybe even three. But here we have a sneaky medevac. So I've got one spore crawler, but that's not enough. So I gotta bring my whole army because I like F2. And yeah, there goes the F2. Great. Awesome. Morph into Banelings, in case he has a lot of Marines. And I've got a changeling here, so... At the moment, I'm not sure how many expansions he's at. You want a piece That's of me, boy. Wanted, so I'm gonna push out for information that I already have. What am I doing? And I run into a ton of siege tanks. So I have no idea how big his army is, if it's an axe or not, and I made a bad movement play. But I don't want to fight this whatsoever. I'm gonna wait for a better moment. I believe if he has moved his siege tanks, I would have been absolutely trapped and in a bad position. But I managed to make it back to my creek, in which the big fight, which I've been talking about, is about to happen. So, he's already stimmed once, and he has three medevacs, he has a lot of Marauders, uh, 20, 20 Marauders, 23 Marines, 6 Siege Tanks, Liberators, Hellbats, and I have Roach Heavy, Army with Hydralis, Banelings, and Lurkers, and some Zerglings. So, at the moment, his Marauders with 2-2 two, two upgrades versus my Roach with 3-3. Three, three. But, Marauders deal a lot more damage to Roaches. So, that's why I'm kind cutting back, and I finally figure out... 
that I'm fighting back into my lurkers. And then here we do a ton of damage. Just one time. And then manage to clean up quite nicely. So if I ran into that head on, I feel like I would have lost that game. Let's continue on, just try and trade as much as I can because I know I can get my army up way faster than him. Take out his nat not his naturals, his expansions. And there we go, there's the GG. I didn't know Lurkers did so much damage. So these little babies, Lurkers, 26 damage plus 39 against armored, have Massive 9 range and have the same weapon speed as roaches. Exactly the same weapon speed, which is amazing. Yeah, and they're fairly tanky, 200 HP more than roaches. So, four of these tearing through all of his marauders. Great. And you're going to get 3-3 three, three upgrades. Hopefully by the time he pushes out. So at the moment he's got a 1-1 vehicle and he is pushing out. Oh my goodness, no. Stop. So looking at the unit tab, we have four medevacs, four banshees, 11 hellbats, vikings, heavy amount of siege tanks, two thors, his Widow Mines are not with him, and he has some Marines and Marauders. So, when this guy gets set up, he is not going to budge. And with my Weak and Fragile army running into him, I'm going to die. So, let's start. So he comes up on the side, which I did not expect whatsoever, because I do not know this map, but I do know there's a ledge there now. Um, and he's... Gonna set up his siege tanks. My lurkers are out of range, so... That's really bad. And for some reason, I send my army through this corridor, which is terrible. But, let's see what happens. Seem to lose majority of my banelings. Gonna lose that worker eventually. Yeah, and I managed to lose my expansion as well. I'm gonna re-siege, which means I can't push into him. Put a worker there. Does some damage, sieges, got it back up. Meanwhile, I am trying to get my army back. And trying to do some damage at the same time, just to give me some breathing room. And then let's pull back. Let's see, KYJ knows I have an expansion coming up here. Me? I have no idea what he's doing. So I've got two lurkers here. I unburrowed lurkers which were there. I've got two, three more lurkers here and then I've got my roach hydra ball, mainly roaches. Not enough hydras and some banglings versus marauders. Still a ton of siege tanks. And a ton of hellbats with some anti air and anti ground with banshees. 2 2 upgrades, gonna deal a ton of damage. Tons of damage. Yes, I just did that. Yeah, and I've got my 3 3 upgrades. So let's continue. That is too fast of a speed. So. With the ravens, he's able to detect my lurkers, so my lurkers are going to go down. But even then, 
with two locos, I managed to take down a lot of health on his front line. At the same time, running in with my army with a nice split, which is completely by accident because I'm bad. But I've got my frick, um, lurkers at the front, just trying to get a p good position. So bury them right there, and then start the fight, and he sieges up. So hopefully, if I can find my lurkers... Cool. So I've got three lurkers. One, two, three. Um, and these lurkers do a lot of damage against mech, which is, no, armoured, sorry. Where he's got his marauders here, Hellion's Light, Siege Tanks are armoured, and so are Thor's. So I've got, yeah, three lurkers with the range of that. So, you'll see what will happen next. And he absolutely gets crushed. Just with only a couple of lurkers doing a ton of splash damage to armored units. Which is nice, because Zerg finally get the siege that they A mid-game siege, so they don't have to take up to Broodlords to do the same thing. And there we go, KYJ has left the building. Hopefully this video will help you out in-game. Um, if you'd like to like, know my build order, just leave a comment and I'll try and get out a video for it when I can. Or anything else that you're asking about Zerg. I've only been playing a couple of weeks, but um, yeah, just currently trying to rank up the ladders and make some videos at the same time. Uh, yeah, um, I'm currently new at making videos, so if you want more stuff like this, um, just knowing what a meta or what works against what, because um, even though I'm not the best StarCraft player, I'm not the worst StarCraft player, but um, yeah, I'm just willing to get the information across as soon as I figure it out. Um, yeah, and hopefully help you guys climb the ladder. As I am trying to get to Diamond for the first time. But yeah, once I figure that out, it'll be awesome. Anyway, if you thought this was helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in game.